Alright, Shalom. Um, coming to you in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Makak with us. Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Makak with us, Um, the honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone taught me this truth. And I'm um, salutes to the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and sincerity. I just came across this video um, about <coughs> clearly an Israelite guy who has um, the condition which is known today as vitiligo or more anciently known as leprosy I'm going to just play a little bit of this and then get into the scriptures because it's quite a good example of um, the condition People would call me like say a cow or zebra But you have to be yourself, you have to love yourself and that way people just love you People ask all sorts of questions. Um, like, is it a burn? Is it a birthmark? Is it um, what happened simply? What it is, according to the scriptures, it is leprosy. Okay, bottom line, it's leprosy, man. And in fact, this guy is an unclean leper. Now, <coughs> let's continue on. Is it skin cancer? Some people just want to know. Some people just literally just curious. It's not out of like, say, being rude. Twenty-three-year-old Bashir was born with a condition called vitiligo which causes the skin to lose pigment and colour. I just know that it's a different colour um, on my skin. It's not contagious, you won't catch any. Now, it says it's not contagious, but according to the scriptures, that's not entirely the case, okay? Because according to the scriptures, if you were found with this condition, you had to be put out of the camp for seven days, man. And then on the seventh day, so like on the eighth day, you will come back in, and you would be uh, inspected by a priest and if you were found clean then you would have an offering for cleansing and you would be able to be reintegrated into the camp however if you weren't found clean you'd have to be um, sent back out out of the camp for another seven days so it is an uncleanness okay illness from it, it doesn't affect your health as there is no known cure for vitiligo Looking different is all Bashir has ever known. But over the years, he's noticed a change in his skin. So I was born with vitiligo, like say 80% of my body, but now um, my skin. Now if you look, he's got white hair. Okay, he's got always oh, got, oh, got um, brown hair. Uh, but he's also got um, brown slash black hair, but he's also got white hair because the uh, vitiligo or known in the scriptures as leprosy can also affect the hair okay <clears throat> there's even leprosy of clothes a lot of people don't know that there's leprosy of the house <laughs> you know and the scriptures talk about the hairs going white because of the leprosy and onto the skin also pigments over the years have just come back to life so it's like, say, I don't know, 50% now, or 40% even. And it changes. I'm happy that basically... You know, sometimes the pigment comes back, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes your your, your whole body is leprous. Okay? Like an albi um, albino. Alright? Now, this is a very good indication of what happened to Miriam. More be it would have been, um, you know... Much more severe, but this is what Miriam would have looked like. It's doing the work that it's supposed to do when biologically, was, uh, but at the same time, the I'm unhappy that, like, rah, like, I'm not even that special no more. I feel two ways about it. And this is wickedness. He thinks he's special because he's got a condition. Now, his name is Bashir. Most likely, he comes from a Muslim family. Okay? You know? Now, if you had any understanding of the scriptures, you will understand that this is a curse of the Most High. Why would you be proud? Now, you know, a lot of people going to be, ah, oh, you said that. You know, you said that he shouldn't be proud of who he is. No, you know, let the man do what he got to do. You know, but having a, 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 a condition or a curse which has been put on you, <laughs> you know, isn't something to be proud about that's just being wrong and strong but you can't be angry at the guy i'm not angry at him because obviously he doesn't know the scriptures and you're not according uh, acting accordingly i feel um i feel happy i feel happy that um actually i don't i don't know i feel unhappy 
my mum, she used to like go to doctors and used to give like, when it comes to Instagram comments, I do get good ones and I do get bad ones. Yeah, you literally look like artwork or or colours your private part. So calm, so calm, so this is the gang. This is the gang. Vitalize always improved my life in a mad way. Social media has certainly improved helped me your life. love myself. You see, there are people that are gone, man. That's not an improvement. That's, that's, that's... I don't know. Let's just get into the scriptures, man. Let's go to the book of... Uh, where is it? Um, think, think, think. That's the book of Leviticus, chapter 13. Uh, and it says, And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man shall have a sk have in the skin of his flesh a rise, rising a scab or breast, but, and it be the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought unto Aaron the priest, or unto his, one of his sons the priest. Then the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh, and when the hair is plague will turn white, just like this man, and the plague is sight be deeper than the skin in his flesh is a plague of leprosy and the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean there we go unclean so what in the hell is there to be proud of being unclean now like i said this is not a dig at this man you know he's just a very good example of a person that had the condition commonly known as vertiligo today okay but when you talk of leprosy in the scriptures this is exactly what we're talking about if the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh and the sight not be deeper in the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, and the priest shall shut him up of the plague seven days. Now, this man, he's had it for his life, so he didn't clear up, man. So, this guy, man, unfortunately for him, he, he's, he, wouldn't, if, he wouldn't be allowed in the camp. You know, talking about the congregation of Israel, he just wouldn't be allowed in. And why is that? Because <laughs> he, um, he had the plague of leprosy, man. You know, and it goes to talk about you know after seven days, man. You know, no, I wanna um talk about the raw flesh and whatnot. Uh, I I wanna get a bit about a clean leper. In fact, you can just go and read it in your own time, man. But a clean leper will be somebody that has it all over. But when it's spotty and blotchy all over your skin, that's the uncleanness. And the hair turning white and the flesh rising above the skin. You know? So that's just the perfect example, man. You know, we're not chatting out of our asses when we oh yeah, the Bible. You know, talk about leprosy. That's an old thing. No. The scripture says nothing new under the sun. It's just got new names. That's all it is, my man. You know, but this is a perfect example of leprosy. And pretty much, I'm gonna come out and say it. You know, it sounds mean, but this guy is wicked. He doesn't even know it, so I'm not angry at him. But he's wicked for embracing it. You know, shame alive for making it a highlight when it's nothing but a curse. But you know, he doesn't know that, so of course, you know, is what it is, man. But this is what we're talking about. Just the example. You know, when we talk about leprosy, and here's what I'm gonna say, Shalom.